look outside here. The sun trying to peek through all yeah. those clouds out there. These warmer temperatures though, Krista, I mean, for January, we'll take it. It's Absolutely. not too bad out there. Especially after the very chilly days we've had just these past couple of afternoons. And yes, we have more clouds around today, but I wouldn't call this a dreary day by any means. We are getting some peaks of blue trying to come on through. This is the view downtown Indianapolis from Victory Field. Those clouds will continue to thicken up into the afternoon, but it's not stopping those temperatures that have now risen to above average levels. We're at 43 degrees now in Indianapolis. 46 is where we are in Shelbyville and a 41 in Anderson. So these temperatures are running about 20 degrees warmer than we were yesterday afternoon. That's a significant difference. There's still a little bit of a chill in the air. So yeah, you're going to need that coat, but it feels like we're in the mid 30s as opposed to feeling like we're into the teens and lower 20s into the afternoon. Live Guardian radar, most of central Indiana completely rain free and that's how it'll stay throughout the day. Now we are picking up on some returns in our far northwestern counties, so areas close to Lafayette, Delphi, picking up on possibly a little bit of rain coming down, but this is a very high radar scan. And I can tell you the air at the surface is very dry still at this point, so likely this isn't reaching the ground just yet, but I wouldn't completely rule out the chance for an isolated sprinkle or two as we head through the afternoon hours, but most of us will be completely rain free. We'll see those temperatures rising a couple more degrees. I'd say a high temperature at 45 degrees for Indianapolis today, and we will be seeing again that chance for that isolated shower around along with those breezy conditions on into the late afternoon, early evening hours. As we get into the evening overnight, get to get some breaks in the clouds, turning back to partly cloudy skies before they thicken up again as we head into your Thursday. So if you're heading out to Gamebridge Fieldhouse tonight, Celtics versus Pacers that tip off is at seven o'clock. We'll see temperatures in those upper 30s at that time, and then we'll see them dropping to right around 30 degrees by early tomorrow morning. Now what you need to know for tomorrow, while temperatures won't be too bad, we have that chance for a few isolated to very widely scattered snow showers around during the morning that could cause some slick spots, particularly on areas like bridges and overpasses that would cool more quickly. But the more impactful system, which even still seems to be moving south, will be likely here at late Friday night into early Saturday, something we'll still watch quickly or closely. As we head through the next few days, high temperatures go from mid 40s today, upper 30s on Thursday into the mid 30s on Friday. They keep on dropping with those high temperatures, looking at a high by Saturday, only at 29 degrees. Melissa.